It's been a hot few days in Southeast Ohio, Zone 6A. We've been doing a lot of watering lately. I wanted to take the time to answer four questions about watering because there's a lot of misinformation out there. Those questions are, one, how do plants take up water? Two, is it safe to water my plants in the middle of the day? Three, is it safe to water my plants at night? And four, what is the best time to water? So before we can answer the last three questions, we need to talk about how plants take up water. So plants have two main vascular systems, the phloem and the xylem. And the phloem is just used to transport carbohydrates after photosynthesis. It doesn't come into play when discussing water too much. And the xylem is the main system for water transport. The xylem transports water and absorbs nutrients from the roots to the rest of the plant. Plants don't have an active vascular system, meaning they don't have a heart or anything that pumps water through the plant. Instead, water moves from the roots to the rest of the plant through a passive process called transpiration. This term combines transport and evaporation. Water evaporates at the leaves and is transported up through the xylem and it's pulled up through this passive system because water is sticky. It sticks to itself and when the water at the leaf gets pulled out through evaporation, then the water gets pulled up through the roots and gets transported. That term is called transpiration. You ever notice during the heat of the day your plants look a little droopy? And then when the sun goes down they often perk back up even though it's still pretty hot outside? This is because plants lose most of their water through openings in the leaves called stomata. With the exception of plants that evolved in arid conditions, these stomata are only open in sunlight during active photosynthesis and they allow carbon dioxide to enter the plant so it can make carbohydrates. These openings also cause water loss and are the main source of transpiration, so pulling the water through the plant. So plants pull more water in through transpiration during the day in comparison to at night. When plants wilt, they're losing more water through evaporation than they can pull up through transpiration. And they often sort of fill the tank back up in those first few hours once the sun goes down. And after that, there's not a lot of water uptake that happens at night. So how about the second question, can I water in the middle of the day? If you ask this question on a forum, a lot of people are going to chime in and saying, hey, don't water during the day. You're going to burn your plants. The water droplets are going to cause uh, sun scorching of the plants. The theory is that water droplets, remember water sticks to itself, will sit on the leaves and act like a magnifying glass. The science, however, does not really support this. A water droplet on a leaf creates a plano convex lens and without getting into too much physics, the focal point, which is the spot that will multiply the sun's energy for this lens is significantly below the leaf surface. So have you ever tried to burn a dried leaf with a magnifying glass and you have to get it just to that right spot in order to get the focal point right on the leaf so the sun's energy will burn it? Basically the water droplet is not at the correct spot and so the sun's energy does not focus on the leaf um, and really the water droplets are not going to cause any sort of sun scorch. There is one other theoretical concern about watering during the day and that's if you're using a water soluble fertilizer. In theory these droplets could evaporate in the sun and concentrate the fertilizer's salts on your plant and that could cause some problems. But these two problems don't actually happen in most gardening settings. So the idea that watering during the day will really hurt your plants is, is a myth. The valid reason to avoid watering during the day is that you do get a lot of evaporation of the water at the surface and there tends to be less penetrance into the root system. So it's just not as water efficient. In many hot arid conditions, plants really need a midday drink because they're losing so much water through transpiration. If you ask any farmer in the southwest, they're going to tell you they're really going to water to two times. They're going to water in the morning 
they're probably going to water in the middle of the day too because there's just need the plants need the water so if your plants need water midday water them it's much better than waiting until the next morning so what about watering at night is that bad for your plants many of us work during the day and get home to a really thirsty garden it's often the most convenient time for most people to water with our work schedules but people often say that you shouldn't water at night the advantage of watering at night is it does allow greater water penetration deep into the soil but as we already discussed the plants generally are not actively pulling much of this water in through their roots because their stomata are closed if you have water at night the water can sit on either the leaves of the plant or the roots can sit in water which can lead to bacterial or fungal pro problems also watering at night does make a pretty good environment for slugs so if you're dealing with slug problems you probably shouldn't be watering at night that being said if you have good drainage and slugs fungal and bacterial problems are not big issues for you watering at night really is fine and the problems of watering at night are often overblown so if it's the only time you can water and your plants need it go ahead if you are going to water at night i would suggest using some sort of drip system or soaker hose where you're not getting water on the leaves because that can predispose your plants to fungal diseases. So that brings us to question number four, when is the best time to water my plants? Morning is generally the best time to water, just around sunrise, but it's not really imperative you do so, nor is that a really reasonable time for many people's schedules, they're getting up, they're trying to get ready for work, etc. Watering at morning time does combine efficiency of depth of penetration, lack of water loss due to evaporation, and keeps the plants relatively dry through the night to avoid slugs and fungal diseases. It's also just as the stomata are opening, so the roots will be pulling that water into the plant through transpiration in short order. I do think watering in the morning is the best, but I think one takeaway from this video is it's really not that bad to water in the middle of the day or at night. You really should know the science and why watering in the morning probably is the preferred time. But if your plants need water, you should water them. You should definitely not wait until the next morning to water them. I really hope this explanation was helpful for you guys. If your plants are thirsty, it's the middle of the day, it's at night. Just go ahead and water them. It'll be fine. Know the science. Don't listen to all those gardening myths out there. Happy gardening, everyone.